Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 18th, 2021. Let's see. Oh, I'm hearing like chattering, like chattering. This has a sense, I, I know that um, some of the rules around masks and things like that have been changing in certain places here in the United States. So this could be like people having really big reunions, um, you know, or people... That's interesting. <laughs> Finding your freedom through others. I don't know what that means. You have to see what it means for you or how it plays out. Okay. Here it is. Uh, nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Now, if you're worried about something, this could be saying it's fine. You know, like nothing's going to come of this situation. You're not going to be in trouble. Some of you are really worried and too hard on yourself. So you perfectionistic. You know, I didn't do this perfectly. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, for some of you out there, you are pushing on a situation that you think is your key to freedom, it's your key to happiness, and you're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> so you are going to find that out today, and it is a gift if you are given a message to move away from something, okay? It's getting you sort of course corrected. <sighs> there was another message, can you guys bring that back? What was that? There was another message here, nothing will come of this situation. No power over us. Okay. <laughs> That's so ominous. Um, what are you guys saying? I want to get clarity on this. Oh my gosh. And at the, as I look down at the bottom of the deck, I have it here. Uh, I already took it off. <laughs> Nothing is set in stone. Mutable moon, moon. Get ready to move and shake and be flexible. I'm telling you, with all the love energy that's out there. So people are... If you're coupled or you're in um, some sort of dynamic, there's coming to peace, there's coming to understanding. If you choose it, if you don't, well, then that's your problem, okay? <laughs> Listen, you deal with your stuff. But these are people starting to come together. Um, if you're single and you don't want to be, there's a lot going on. Why? Tell me more. <laughs> it, 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 oh, okay. People are reuniting. There is an energy that starts. This is what's been um, sort of stopped in the past uh, in a way by putting these societal standards out there. This is a man's duty in a relationship. This is a woman's duty in a relationship. And you can't be anything but a man or a woman. And that's it. You know, like yeah, all these rules that were put in place and expectations forced upon people to come together in this false way. And what this did was it was just nothing but distortion and short circuiting and people getting into a space of hate. There is something huge that is shifting around this. So yeah, this might still be more divorces where people leave um, partners that they know are not right for them. And people are sort of reforming. And re it's realizing what real love is. You might be like, how the heck did you get that out of these cards? I don't know. It's just here. Uh, <laughs> but um, we're reforming our, our understanding and, and opening ourselves up to see what real love is. Now, that love can come in many forms. It could be romantic. It could be friendships. This could be healing family dynamics. But I, want to, I really want to stress this. It's not without healing, right? So it's not... You can't take a shortcut here. The power that we thought was in place is falling. We're seeing the truth behind it. And we're realizing we don't have to live like this. So um, some people are going to be reacting like, it was all a lie and I'm mad because it was all a lie. <laughs> don't, don't go down that road, okay? As a matter of fact, this is a quiet kind of thing. So it's a quiet understanding, a quiet awakening. And that is what is bringing people together. And it's very subtle. It's just sort of like, okay, can, can we have peace around this? Okay. Now, there are going to be people that exist out there that they're empty vessels. They have not understood how lovable they are. They have uh, quelled their light. They've diminished their soul light. And that leaves a big void in what I've been referring to as the vessel, your body. 
This leaves you wide open to be impressionable. This leaves you wide open to be filled up with what I've always called fumes of fear. Fumes of fear. And so when we see people doing heinous things, it's not them. It's not them doing it. And I'm getting this feeling here that somewhere along the line, when the soul is recovered, if it's allowed to be recovered, the shock of that soul having even done that thing. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what are you saying? Are you making excuses for people? No, they're just evil. It's not them. It's not them. Now, you can take that down any road you want and you can say, what are you saying like they get took, taken over by the devil and they're, <laughs> I mean, again, you interpret that any way you want, but there's a denial of the soul, the soul, the light gets turned down if you want to see it that way and something else fills it up and that's the live wires and that's the acting out. We can't function from that place anymore. Nothing's going to, if we keep continuing down that road and allowing that stuff to happen, not understanding what's behind it, not honoring the people who have for decades been trying to understand what's behind that. I see you. Thank you for your work. Okay. Um, if we don't start to try to understand that, uh, we're, we're going to be hitting a dead end, but it's not too late. Nothing is yet set in stone. So we have time. We have to choose it though. So make some time today to just sit with that message. I know it's kind of all over the place, but remember a lot, I, this is an angelic message channel. Okay. <laughs> so it's not going to hit the third dimensional ego consciousness and be like, ding, 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 ding. You know, it's not gonna, it's just not, let's just prepare ourselves for that. Right. We have to go along into a deeper space, going on about your day and seeing how that energy flows through you and what comes up. It's your heart brain, it's your brain brain, it's your gut brain, it's your body. You know, all of that is signaling through this energetic field and pinging off and reflecting back. Here's where we are. What do we need to understand about this? And it pings out and then a tsunami hits us. If we learn to stop doing that and go, you know what? Let's be here. Let me be with you. Let's understand each other. What's going on there? You know, it, it's not going to work out perfectly. Okay. <laughs> There's going to be a learning curve. The ping that we're sending out might send back something very, very different. All right. Let's try it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but it's worth a shot. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.